guys my name is destiny and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i want to talk about some of the questions that potential employers that are searching for ideal applicants to fill a job vacancy might ask you for python django so if you want to ace your next interview and ace all the questions that the employer is going to be posing at you then this video is totally for you all you have to do is just sit back and we'll give you a whole lot of questions points and things to say during interview to help you ace your interview and land your first dream job so let's get started when potential employers search for the ideal applicants to fill a job vacancy they look for someone familiar and comfortable with the informations and concepts related to the position they want someone who will not only be a good fit but who clearly knows what they are doing and won't be in over their head you as the candidate should strengthen your position by making sure that you can field any question the interviewer poses at you to help you do this we present 24 python django interview questions that covers a wide range of complexity while there is no way to cover every single possibility because that's almost impossible you will find that this selection features the most popular often asked questions now what you have to do is use them as a fresher reacquainting yourself with concepts that you may have forgotten about which stands a good chance of being brought up in an interview and help you land in your first dream job so let's dig into to this Django interview questions and start your presentation from the critical interview. Now we'll begin with the eight easy Django interview questions suitable for entry level positions. However, some interviewers who are looking for a very experienced candidate could try to stump you with easy questions, expecting that you may have long forgotten the more elementary aspects of Django. So the first thing that's gonna be asked to you is what is Django? It's obvious. They want to know what's your opinion and view on Django is. Now what you have to say is quite easy all you have to say is Django is an open source web application framework written in Python developed in a fast-paced newsroom Django enables the rapid development of easily maintained and secure websites it's a favorite of newbies and advanced programmers alike number two questions is Django named after the Kenton Tarino movie okay I don't know if I are pronounced the right Tarantino yeah whatever no Django is named after Django Rehindat, a jazz guitarist from the 1930s to the 1950s who is considered one of the best guitarists of all time. Number 3. What are Django's most prominent features? Now, programmers like Django mostly for its convenient features like optimized SEO, one of the reasons, and it's extremely fast. It's loaded, it's a loaded framework that features authentications, content administration, RSS fields, ORM, and a whole lot of things. Exceptionally scalable to meet the heaviest traffic demand. Number five, it's highly secured. Number six, its versatility enables you to create many different types of websites. Now, number four, can you name some companies using Django? Now, uh, some interviewers might want to ask you this question to know if you already know some big companies using Django. And obviously, you are supposed to know because you are on YouTube right now and YouTube was built using Django. Reddit, Pinterest, Mozilla, Firefox, Instagram, Discourse, Washington News, all these were built using Python Django. Now, another question might be, why do developers prefer Django? Now, what you have to say is, developers use Django because it allows code module to be divided into logical groups, making them flexible to change. It also provides an auto-generated web admin module to ease website administration, which is the Django admin. It provides a, a free packaged API for common user tasks. And also it enables developers to define a given function's URL as easy as that. And also it allows users to separate business logic from the HTML. And it's written in Python, which is one of the most popular languages available today. And it gives you system to define the HTML template for your web page, avoiding code duplication. So that's why some developers prefer Django. And number six question that you might get is, what is CRUDE? Now, CRUDE has nothing to do with dead or grim. It's a handy acronym for create, read, update, and delete. And it's a monomic framework used to remind developers on how to construct usable models when building application programming interfaces. Number seven, does Django have any drawbacks? 
um Django disadvantages include some basic things number one it's monolithic size makes it suitable sorry makes it unsuitable for smaller projects so it's monolithic size it makes it unsuitable for smaller projects you have to set up a whole lot of things um for just making a, like let, let's say like a one um page web app something like that and everything hinges on django orm which is um known as object relational mapping everything must be explicitly defined due to lack of convention so those are some of the django drawbacks number eight what does django architecture look like okay i'm sure that you must have heard of model view controller or let's say model view template you must have heard of something like that now the django architecture consists of models which describes the database schema and data structure the views which controls what a user sees the view retrieves data from let's say approximate models executes any calculation made and passes it onto the template through a context template this controls how the user sees the page it describes how the data is received from the view and needs to be altered or formatted to display the page and lastly we have controller now this is made up of the django framework and url pattern after going through some of the basic django in a few questions and answers um i think it's time we increase the difficulty level with the intermediate django interview question and answers because some interviewers might want to see how far you have gone in Django. Now, let's head over to Intermediate Django Interview Questions. Now, let's increase the difficulty factor and explore more tougher Django interview questions and answer combinations. Number nine, in Django context, what is the difference between a project and an app? Okay, the project covers the entire application, like, you know, um, making a project, um, Django-admin start project. That project covers the entire application itself, while an app is a module or a Python application, or let's just say an app is a module or an application within the project that deals with one dedicated requirement. So a project consists of several apps while an app features in multiple projects. So let me explain this more better. Now, there is a website I'm building recently and in the website, users can, can post pictures users can also sign up and users can also download images so we have three things that this website is going to do number one post pictures number two download pictures number three um sign up like authentication now when i want to make the authentication what i do is just put it in a separate app and this app might be called users so i don't have to mix everything up into one application and when i also want to make um like the the function where the users have to post pictures and post then i put it in an app called blog and also when i want to make like let's say a function where the user have to download images and save favorites and all that then i can put it in uh, let's say something like element something like that so the project consists of the blog elements and users the project is like the entire application hopefully you understand now another question that you might get in django is what's a model in django okay this is quite easy a model consists of all the necessary fields and attribution of your stored data they are single definitive source of information regarding your data that's it number 11 what are django templates django templates render information in a design friendly format to present to the user using the django template language which is the dtl you must have heard of that a user can generate html pages dynamically now django templates consist of simple text files that can create any text-based format such as xml csv html you know and all that so the 12th question that you might get is this cost django's request or response cycle so now i know you might not understand this question but what you have to do is just take your time if you don't understand the question then you could just go back to the interviewer and ask them please can you elaborate more on the question i don't re really understand it nothing is gonna happen your job interview and everything is still gonna go fine and in fact the interviewers are gonna are gonna feel like this dude this guy um actually he's himself because when he doesn't understand a problem he want to break it down so he can understand it now let's answer the question starting the process of the django server receives a request that's it the server then looks for a matching url and url patterns defined for the project if the server can't find a matching url it produces 
uses a 404 status code. If the URL matches, it executes the corresponding code in the view file associated with the URL and sends a response. Now, hopefully you understand. Number 13. What is the Django admin interface? Django comes equipped with a fully customizable built-in admin interface and this portal lets developers see and make changes to all the data residing in the database that contains registered apps and models. The model must be registered at the admin to use the database table within the admin interface. Hopefully you understand. And another question might be, how do you install Django? It's something that everyone is supposed to know. And I'm not going to answer this. Let's see if you can. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds to answer this. The time starts now. Okay, hopefully you got it. Now, users download and install Python per the operating system used by the host machine. Then all you simply need to do is run the command pip install Django. And let's say you can go ahead and put um, a specific version that you want to install. And you have to do all this on the terminal or the CMD if you're on a Windows PC and wait for the installation to finish. As simple as that. Now, number 15, you might be asked, how do you check which version of Django that you have installed on your system? It's quite easy. You can check the version by opening the command prompt and, and entering this command Python hyphen M space Django dash version. Simple. And you can also visit the Django homepage, you know, like the Django doc project and look at the download latest release button located on the right side of the page. Okay. Number 16, you might be asked, what are signals in Django? Now, signals are a piece of code containing in information about what's currently going on. A dispatcher is used to both send and listing for signal. Okay, so let me explain more of this. Now, what signals do is just um, a piece of code containing information about what's going on. And what does that mean? For example, let's say you want to create a profile when a user signs up on your website. Now, a signal is going to be listening to, to like what's going on when the user registers. So it's going to listen um, and know when the user hits the register button. It's going to know that the user has hit the register button. And what will it do? It will automatically make a profile for the user so that's one of the things that signals does okay so we have covered the easy and intermediate Django questions now let's look into the advanced level of Django questions now we include with eight considerable tougher Django questions designed for the expert level Django users number one what is Django rest framework the Django rest framework or you can see an acronym with DRF is a framework that helps you quickly create restful API they are ideal for web applications due to low bandwidth utilization number two what do you use middleware for in Django you use middleware for four different functions. Number one, content zipping. Number two, cross-site requests, forgery protection. You can see CSR of token. Number three, session management. Number four, user authentication. Yeah, so that's what you use middleware for in Django. Now, number three, you might be asked, I think, should I be number three or number four? I lost count. So you might be asked, what does a URL config file contain? Now, the URL config file in Django contains a list of URLs and mapping created to view those URLs functions. The URLs can map to view functions, class-based views, and the URL config of other applications in your project. Does Django support multiple column primary keys? No, Django supports only single column primary keys. How can you see your SQL queries running in Django? To begin, make sure that the debug setting is turned to true. If the setting is squared out away, then type the following command from django.db import connection, then connection.queries. Simple as that, okay? So you might also be asked, list several kitchen strategies supported by Django. Now, this is quite easy. So, Django supports these caching strategies. Number one is database caching, number two, in memory caching, file system caching, and memk. Okay, you might also be asked what is a query set in the context of Django? Query set is a collection of SQL queries. The command print b.query shows the SQL query created from the Django filter call. You might also be asked, what do you use Django to touch the client class for? The client class acts like a dummy web browser, enabling users to test views and interact with Django powered application programmatically. This is especially useful when performing integration testing. Okay, so do you want to know more about Python? Python is such a, a popular language that any aspiring developer or programmer would be smart to learn as much as it is possible. Fortunately, we make it easier for you here at Testfix. All you have to do is follow our 5 hours complete Python course that puts you through Python from A to Z. And also with that, you're going to be building 5 real life projects using Python, okay? So if you don't know Python and you're looking for a good reason to start, then I'd recommend you go ahead and 
watch other videos that i have over here i'll be listing them out and it's gonna give you some really good stats on Django. so that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you guys learned something new and enjoyed it so all you have to do is just take your time put those questions through yourself read them again and again recite them or you can even put them in your head like cram them like you know to get yourself the dream job that you want and another thing that i'm gonna recommend is you go over to algo experts and sign up i think it's a couple bucks and you'd receive some really really nice python interview questions that's gonna help you train your algo and you know data structures and all that and it's gonna help you land your first dream job so check out algo experts trust me it's really amazing and i hope i'll see you guys in my next video make sure to drop a like comment consider subscribing as it truly means the world to me my love peace out